The game 24-17, excited as hell about it. But what, I mean, you had to withstand a, a big comeback. That's now. called the National Football League. Excited to win on the road in the division. How important might like to get back to two and two? Huge, yeah. huge. I mean, just the way that the season started, um, guys kept battling. So proud of this football team, proud to coach them. Uh, they compete and they fight, you know, whoever's out there. Uh, you know, we were able to finish the ball kneeling down on the road. I know it's a group effort, but the effort by Danico Autry to help impact this game. Well, you know, about. he just is, uh, you know, sometimes, and I, I know Danico won't want me saying this, but he, he gets in his own way sometimes, you know, because he's so talented and he knows how to beat these guys. And, um, you know, sometimes he overthinks things sometimes. And it's just really cool the type of player he is, the savvy. It started in training camp, the way that he practiced uh, before hurting his hand. Uh, you could just see that, that he was dialed in and was going to find a way to help us and, and certainly impact the game. Why wouldn't he want you to say that? Well, I mean, it just, it, you know, he get, he just wants to help us so bad. You know what I mean? And each and every week, and you see him, he, he knows uh, how valuable he is to our football team. Uh, and, and I just, I love, you know, who he is and what he's always been about in this league just from his journey. How you talk about, you know, situational football. Chuck had his biggest impact today. A couple big catches in critical spots and a touchdown for you. Good to see. Great. It was great. And, uh, you know, we challenged him. You know, I challenged him all week is finding ways to help us continue and to understand how critical his role on special teams is, but you know, where he can help us um, on, on offense. And I thought that, you know, Ryan was able to find him and progress through on the goal line. I thought that, uh, you know, well, well executed, well designed play you know, down the sidelines. Derek. Made a great block on the safety. They pressured, and Chip was able to uh, get free down down the sidelines. And so it's all we were talking about success and being able to share success, you know. And so that Derek made that play go, uh, just like you know, somebody else made a play go, just like Jeff Swain made a play go that you know was able to help Robert Woods down there, you know, be wide open in the end zone. So that, that that's who we are, and that's what we have to be. Mike, what about the players outside of two minute? Uh, that if you can't play the next play. To uh, to take a knee, you know that that's a safety thing, uh, so that they you know, are, are taking a knee and they, they stop the, the play, and then we can get a, a first of all we can look at you, and uh, we can give you a medical attention, and then we can get a sub in. Um, you know he was in the huddle, you know Cody ran out there, and you know, we just felt like, you know, I felt like that we needed to get Cody back out so they didn't stand over the ball. To force us to burn a timeout or a five yard penalty, delay a game, substitution. Um, you know, so outside of two minutes, you know, we're, we're asking guys that if they can't play the next play physically, is to take a knee. And I know that guys don't like to do that. I, you know, I mean, uh, this is not anything to do with their courage or their toughness, uh, but it's about being able to operate and get the next guy in there and, and, and make sure that we're doing everything we can do to, to look at your health. Like we just